Hi, I'm Karen Smothers from Family Service and Guidance Center, Director of Clinical Operations, and welcome to our third and final real world parenting video for the month of April. Our topic of the month is grief and mourning. In today's segment, we're going to talk about healthy grief and what you can do when experiencing grief to model healthy ways to experience what is a normal human emotion in terms of grief. Unfortunately, grief is something we are all going to experience. And knowing that, it's important to be prepared for how you will deal with grief and how you will demonstrate for your children what grief looks like and healthy ways to manage that. So some, some things about grief, um, again, reminding everyone it's a normal human emotion. It's something we will all experience, but it's important that you're able to mod model those healthy ways to express grief or those painful emotions. So one way to talk about grief in terms of just loss, loss of a loved one or loss of lots of other things we talked about in the last segment, like jobs or pets or a relationship, is to talk about happy memories and to find some of the um, happy things that you can keep in mind about someone maybe you've lost, trying to remember the positive moments. Um, it's really important when people experience pain and grief, they often look for ways to deaden that pain. And as adults, it's really important that we demonstrate for children that, that feelings can be painful, but that we wouldn't resort to alcohol or drugs to just deaden that pain as a way to cope with it. Children will see that and children will learn from that behavior. Um, it's also really important to be honest and admit to your child or your youth that um, how this loss makes you feel and that it does make you sad or you experience painful emotions. And then also it's important to show and demonstrate sympathy and empathy for your child so that um, they feel like they have your support and someone to talk to about what they're feeling. Um, allow yourself to show your child that you're feeling sad about a loss or frightened or even lonely because that is a normal reaction to loss. Um, but keep in mind, use discretion in what you share with your child or your youth. Because as an adult experiencing grief, you may become or feel very vulnerable and looking for support. And while it's important to share some of your emotions, use some discretion in how much you share so as not to overwhelm your child or your youth with your feelings. Keep in mind that sharing about that experience is meant to help the child and not just alleviate your burden. For help with your own grief, it's important to utilize a healthy support network that you can turn to to talk to um, about your own painful emotions. And then finally, um, just to remind you that grief is a normal human emotion, but if you find that you or your youth's um, routine or life just continues to feel disrupted, that this grief feels more complex and complicated, and it's not easy to start regaining the steps of your life back, that it is important to seek help. So please reach out and seek help. So that's all for today. I hope you'll join me next Thursday from 6.30 to 7.30 for our April Real World Parenting Zoom Q&A that will be specific to grief and mourning. So to register for that, follow the directions in the comments below. The Q&A is free, but you do have to register to get the Zoom link. Again, I'm Karen Smothers. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the Zoom Q&A next Thursday.